Hi guys, thank you for joining. Uh, for those who are current subscribers, welcome. For those who are new viewers, don't forget to. For those persons who are new viewer, viewers, <laughs> welcome to my channel. I hope that you will become a regular subscriber here. Um, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like and also comment um, under any of my videos all right so today we want to look on queries um, how is it that we do queries in Microsoft Access so I have here six queries that we're going to do which is going to encompass the different types of queries that you will find in Microsoft Access all right so let's head over to database. All right, so here we are in Microsoft Access where we left off the last time. We had two tables and a form. If it is that you did not watch any of the previous three videos, I'll list that in the iCard for you to go ahead and watch and become familiar with what it is that we are doing. All right, so the first query and as I would have said in our introductory video, once it is that you're doing any objects or you're creating any of the objects in Microsoft Access, the first place you want to head to is create, the create ribbon. That's where we're going to go. And today we're going to focus on queries. So the first um, activity to say is to create a query to change all console manufacturers in the appliance table to GE. So let us first look on the appliance table. And here, what it is asking us is to change these two manufacturers where we have console to GE. All right. So let's head over now to query design. So it's create and then select query design. Well, after selecting query design, you will, it will take you to this page, which is your design tab for query tools. And you'll also see your show table appearing if it is that it doesn't appear right under the query the query tools and design you will see show table and once you click on that this will appear so because we're only going to use the appliance table i'm just going to you can double click we can click on this ensure that it is highlighted and then select add after you're finished selecting your table you're going to close the table all right so here now it says that we want to change so once it is that you're going to change anything you are going to use the update query all right so here we're going to select update and when we select update it's going to change the features that we have down here so select update all right so what we're going to do is that we're going to select the field which is manufacturer and it says update to. So what you're going to select now is what is it that you want to change it to and it did say we should change it to GE and it would be, all right, so it's not accepting any dots. All right, so it says update it to GE and the criteria is going to be console. And you have to ensure that you type it just as how it appears in your table, otherwise it's not going to identify it for it to change. So here now, and this is permanent, um, once it is that you select run, even though you're going to have a new object, which is query, it is automatically going to update the information that you have in your table. So here now, going back over to the appliance table, we have two, which is the stove and the washing machine that is supposed to change. So let's go back um, and we're going to run. So let's run. So here it says you are about to update two rows. And if it is that you're sure you want to update that and then you select yes. All right, so let's go over to the appliance table. Notice now that console is missing. And we have the 2GE that we added 
here. All right, so let's name this query update query. So just right click on the query and then select save. We're going to name this update query. And then select OK. All right, so here now we have three objects that we have created. So we have two tables, we have a query, and we have one form. All right, so we are going good. So here, the next query, let me close this. The next query is to create a query to increase all the prices in the appliance table by $100. So here now we are going to have another update query, which is going to include a calculated field. So you're going to go back to create. And then we're going to select query design. And then we're going to select the table that we want to use. And again, we're only going to use the appliance table. And now we're going to close this. So it says now, we're going to select the field, which is price. Um, sorry, we did not select update, so let's select update. All right, so we have already selected price, so that's fine. And we want to update it too. So what we're going to put is the field name, and we're going to, let me go to build up. So you can right click here, and you go to build. This is where we're able to put in the field that we want. So we're going to select the appliance table. And once we do this, it just ensures that the data that you're using is completely correct. So we're going to select the appliance table. Which field we want to use? We want to use price. And I normally remove this because it gives trouble. Um, plus 100. Select OK. Um, so that is what we want to update and we don't have a criteria because it's all the prices that we need to update so here we have the prices take a visual a visual image of it and then let us go now to back to our query so as I said before after creating the query, you're going to run it. And once you run it, now it is not permanent. Now, normally for the persons who are doing um, CSEC, CSEC SB, IT SB, you don't run your update queries. Don't run it. You create the queries. And if it is that you're following certain procedures, you will know that your um, query is correct leave it up to your teacher to run it or follow the instructions of your teacher so if your teacher tells you to run it then you run it otherwise um teacher will not be able to see the transition or if it is that you want to update it create a duplicate of the table and do the update on the duplicated table that you created for those persons doing um csec it all right so let's do that um, let's run it so here it says you're about to update eight rows let's just check how many rows do we have here one two three four five six seven eight all right so let's just go back moment of truth run and yes so let's go back over here and all of your prices have now been updated by a hundred dollars all right so let us now save this and we are going to save this as updated price and we're going to select okay all right two down four more to go all right so for the next task it says to create a query to calculate gct of 15 percent on all appliances now let me close this 
if you go in the appliance table there's no column for gct which means that you're going to create a new field by the name of gct now all right but you're going to create it in query so what you're going to do you're going to go to create and you're going to go to query design again you're going to select the field that you want to use um, the table that you want to use sorry and this is the appliance table so let's select add so it says on all appliances so we are going to have appliances you select the fees that you want to use and we're going to use price right here where it says field because we don't have a gct field we're going to go back now to our builder so you're going to type gct the new field name right um you're going to put colon you're going to put equal all right so here we are now as i said because if it is that you don't type the field names properly it will give you an error message so i normally use the same field names that is in the table and to ensure that is correct so you just look at the bottom here where it says expression elements and you look for the name of your database select the plus sign that will drop down then you set the plus sign beside tables and it will show you all the tables double click on the table that you want to use and the fields will appear so i'm going to put price double click and as i said i'm going to remove this part because it normally gives trouble i don't know why but it gives some form of trouble and you're going to put your calculation which is times and you um you can use the 15 percent as in 15 and the percentage sign or you can convert it to a decimal which is what i'm going to do which is 0 0.15 and then select okay all right so this one is not going to necessarily update um or change anything um but it's going to do some calculations or add the new field all right so let us run it all right so here we have or GCT and if it is that you want the dollar sign beside we can always go into design view and change the data type for that right here and come over to property sheet right and I'm going to select one of these format yes select currency and then save that so if I run it again, you will see the dollar sign appear on the side. Right? So that would now be 15% of those, which is going to give you your GCT. Alright, so let us save this. And I'm going to save this as GCT calculation. Calculation. Alright. It's really funny how sometimes some words is spelled correctly, but it just looks weird all right so that's three down and three more to go all right so the next query says all serial numbers of the appliances are off by one due to a data entry error update the serial numbers in the appliance table by adding one to the serial number so serial number again is only in the appliance table and that's what we're going to do so we're going to go back to create and we are going to do another updated query so we're going to go to design query design select the table that you want and then we're only then we're going to select update select the field name which is serial number and we're here where it says update so we're going to go back to our builder so again I want the field name to be specific because serial number here that I have, if I type it with a lowercase letter where an uppercase letter is going to be, it's going to give you an error. So just to be sure, I'm going to follow the same procedures here just to ensure that I get the correct thing. As I say, I normally delete the table name and the exclamation mark. So here it says plus one to select ok and then let's go over here serial number 
So let's look refrigerator here. It is two 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 four five. All right. So let's go now. And we're going to run it. This is eight records. I'm going to select yes. Two 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 four five was here. Now it's six. All right. So let us save this now as serial number update. All right, so the next query says to create a query to find the total number of appliance sold. All right, so let me close this. And again, we're going to go back to create and query design. All right, go but we're using appliance a lot. <laughs> Um, I'll probably have to find an activity where we use both tables because I need to you guys to understand that part So we're going to come where it says sold right here Where you see this icon Which says Totals you're going to select that and you realize that the total has appeared here and then here where it says group by you're going to change that to sum to sum and then let us run that we should get four all right why is it saying negative four i don't know <laughs> i don't know what's happening here but four is correct all right so we're going to name this query save this one and we are going to save it as sold total okay all right so our very last query on the appliance table says that we are to create a query to find the number of each kind of appliance in the to tropical appliance wholesalers inventory what does that mean so here where it says appliance name we need to find out how many times each name appears so here you know we have two refrigerator we have two washing machine one two stove one microwave and one convection oven so we need to count those uh, all right so for this task we are going to go to create we're going to go to query design we're going to select the appliance table again and we are now going to select the fields that we want to use so for this what we're going to use is the appliance so because it says inventory we can't take into consideration those items that have been sold so we're going to use that field and we're going to use any other field and I'm going to use manufacturer right i'm going to come right here and select totals also and underneath sold i'm going to ask for just the items that are not sold which is no because we said the ones that are checked means yes the ones that are unchecked means no and right here we're going to select count i think let me come back to it. If it is not count, it's definitely sum. But let us run it and see. Definitely count. So here what it is saying, we have two stoves that are unsold. And we have two washing machines that are unsold. So, and we already checked. We saw that here. We have a washing machine. Here we have a stove. Another washing machine. So that is two washing machines here we have another stove so that's two stoves so the query is correct all right so let us save this and we're going to save this as inventory all right so that's it for today thank you for watching this video i do hope that this video was informative um if you did like the video please like comment share subscribe share with your friend tell a friend to tell a friend 
All right. Thank you.